Oh, oh, wee wee. Today, I'm gonna show you a little home improvement project that we're working on. Oh, baby. Now, as you know, I'm getting the house prepped because we're planning to move. So I gotta do some painting and some fixing and some whatnot. So uh, I stumbled across a little thing. Um, I haven't researched it to know if anybody else has done it yet. But uh, whatever. My uh, subscribers might appreciate this. Uh, I'm working with fascia board. Now this fascia board is old and ancient. Okay. See that? Just brought it out. It needs to be replaced. But I ain't going to replace it. That's a lot of work. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to throw some paint on it. Well, I wasn't real happy with the way it looked with paint on it. So I'm going to have to do something with those cracks and the, uh, the unsightly look. So uh, what can I do? What can I do? Wood putty? Oh my god, have you ever worked with wood putty? What a mess. Yeah, it's like... Uh, uh, yeah, two of a little thing of wood putty is like what four bucks and uh, you probably do like what three square inches uh, No, wood putty ain't gonna work. What, what can I use? What can I use? What can I use? Well, I was playing around with some stuff and uh, I decided to try it on this deal here. So here check this out This side is done Now it's not perfectly smooth but it doesn't have all those unsightly cracks in it that I was having to deal with. And uh, what I've been using, and what I stumbled across, <laughs> oh, wee wee, is Plaster Perry. Look at that. Plaster of Perry. Now, if you're gonna try and do something like this, do not, do not go to your home improvement store to get your Plaster of Perry. Body. Is the sun, is that, can you see? Another quality Pooch Man production here, by the way. Uh, do not go to the Home Improvement Center. Do not. Uh, I checked at Lowe's, and Lowe's wanted nine bucks for a four pound box of plaster of Batty. Uh, no, go to Walmart craft section, okay? I found four pounds for three dollars and fifty cents. Uh, I ran, I went through two went through no I went through one box so far four pounds to do the front section there. I had to go back to Walmart today and and lo and behold they restocked the plaster of Paris department and uh, I found an eight pound box for five bucks so I got 16 pounds for eleven dollar eleven dollar Melican so uh, I'm fixing to mix up a batch and, uh, and work on the rest of this part of the house. The thing of it is, mix up. if you're going to do this, mix it up in small batches because it dries super fast. Super fast. And uh, you got about 10 minutes to get it applied uh, before it starts setting up. So don't mix up a big batch. Uh, once you get your one section done and you go back with one of these uh, thick scratch pads, and knock down all of your um, putty marks. You know the, the lines from when you applied it with a putty. I, I've been using this uh, rubber squeegee thing for body bodywork sanding. It's flexible. I use this for applying the the goblet goop. Then you knock it down with this. And like 15 minutes from application, you start painting it. Good to go. Uh, one other, th two other, two other tips. Uh, is when I had the two the two corner fascia boards, the corners were really rough. So here's what I come up with the corner deal. See that? It's uh, like four inch flashing that I just cut with uh, sheet metal cutters and uh, four drywall screws. Put some paint on it. Get a gout. Corner looks dope. The other issue I had was where the two uh, fascia boards, uh, obviously they don't sell fascia board at, at 30 foot lengths. So you're gonna have a seam at some point. And the problem I had with this house is the seams were starting to buckle and come apart. And I had one area right over here, I'll show you, that uh, was like bowed 
bowed out almost two inches. And now it's flush. So how I fix that is I use a big chunk of, I don't know, inch and a half by quarter inch flat bar. And I uh, use my Forstner bit, countersunk some holes, use some 5 16 bolts. And uh, when I get done with the plaster, a fatty, it'll cover all up. You'll never know the difference. Oh, but Pooch Man, won't plaster of Perry melt in water? And, and isn't it for like making toys and games? And isn't it just kid stuff? Well, other than uh, the only other thing that I know to use, they use it for was casts when you bust a limb. But I mixed some of the stuff up uh, before I started doing this and I, I didn't clean my scraper, threw it in a bucket of water, and uh, it dried in the water, left it there for two days. I had to take a hammer and a chisel to chisel it off of the, uh, the scraper. So yeah, I guess it's gonna be pretty durable. Time will tell, but uh, it's working great. So there's three little helpful tips for you guys doing your little home repairs or improvements, guys and gals. Uh, huge shout out to all my new subscribers. Uh, my, this is not Hot Wheel related, but there are Hot Wheels inside the crazy uh, Pooch Man's compound. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll make a Hot Wheel video soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, I'll be seeing them. Bye.